Hello everybody, welcome back to another Filmora 13 tutorial. In this one, I am going to show you how to color correct. And I'm going to show you multiple ways to do it. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to apply a LUT or a lookup table to get an incredible look on your footage with one click. For those of you that are in a hurry or you've got piles of footage that you need to go through and you need a one click solution, I'm going to show you that. The second thing I'm going to show you is how to color correct the original footage along with or without a lookup table or LUT. So for those of you that want to get in and get your hands dirty, we're going to go in and adjust things like temperature, tint, vibrance, saturation, light, all of those different things. I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you how to do that and combine it with a lookup table. Lastly, we're going to take a look at curves color wheels and we're going to take a quick look at that area so that you can go ahead and make fine-tuned adjustments to get it exactly the way you want it all right the next step is you want to go to their website and download it i will put a link in the description below it's filmora.wondershare.com click on download or click on try it free and then once you've done that you can go ahead and sign up it's free to sign up for and then open it and you're going to see this right here once you've got to this stage simply click on create new project and let's start working. All right, now we're inside Filmora, and the next step is I'm gonna click on import right there, and then I'm gonna grab some footage that I want to color correct. I've got one here called to be color corrected. So I make sure I got the right one here, and presto, it's in our folder. And now I'm just gonna grab it and drag and drop it right to the beginning of the timeline. I'm gonna get the playhead here, this nice little red playhead. I'll hit play on it and just take a quick look at it. You'll see here that while the footage is fine, it's not color corrected. It was probably shot in log. And I mean, if you just look at it, it's dull, it's bland, the colors don't pop. There's, a, there, there's no contrast really. It's not good footage, but that's okay because we're gonna take this bad footage and turn it into something amazing. Let me show you how. All right, so this first part here, I'm gonna show you how to do a one-click solution. For those of you that are time crunched or you have hundreds or thousands of pieces of footage that need color correction and you can't go in, and tune the dials on every single piece of footage. Watch this, I'm gonna click on this video here in the track. When I do that, up at the top right, we get a whole bunch of different options. I am of course going to go ahead and click on color. And when I do that, you're gonna see a few things. We have some presets here. So we have one that's called preset LUT. This means lookup table. And if I turn this toggle on, I can now use a LUT preset. So if I go from none, I can go through this list here and look at that. Without just hovering, we can go ahead and get some incredible styles. These are called log styles. So these are basically, um, you can shoot a video in log and then it just kind of captures the bare details, knowing full well that in post-production, you will be color correcting it. So look at this. Uh, I've got D log here. I've got GP log, which means GoPro log. N log means Nokia log, Sony log. Canon log, etc. The one I like is down here. I really like this GP log. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And then look, in literally with one click, we've gone ahead and turned this footage, which is dull and all those other things we mentioned, into this. Now, this is pretty good, but if you ask me, it's a little bit too much. So we can go ahead and with a second click, you'll see here that under the LUT, I can go ahead and dial back the strength a little bit. So I can dial it to zero if I just don't want anything. But if I just want to apply it in grades, I could maybe put it at, let's say, 70%. That looks really, really good. And if I want to do a protect skin tone, so if I want the skin to sort of stay with the original color that it was filmed in, I can go ahead and protect them using this here. So I would go ahead and maybe dial something like this in. This looks really, really good. This is a one-click solution using the pre-built LUTs. Let's go ahead now and show you a more intricate solution. All right, so for those of you that want to get a little more detailed, this is another way to do it. You'll see here that I've gone ahead and got nothing selected at the moment. I'm going to go up to the top here and click on filters. And under filters, there's a whole bunch of different styles that you can apply directly out of the box. And if I go to featured, these are some of the best ones in my opinion. So let's just take a quick look here. Now, if you just did a video or a movie and you're a cinematographer and you want it to look like Borderlands, you'll see here they've got a border desert style. So I would just hover over that and then drag and drop that onto my timeline. And presto, I've got that sort of Borderlands desert style. Same theory with uh, Sand Dune. You just watched uh, Dune 1 or 2. There you go. I'm just dragging and dropping these right on top of the footage here. And that automatically applies that sort of style. Also, teal orange is another really good one. It doesn't work too much for this 
particular video, but if you're making an action movie, teal orange is awesome. However, those are just some examples. The ones that I want to show you in this one here, again, are these V logs and these S logs, GP logs. In this one, I also want to show you the V log. Let's just hover over it. And then look at that. You'll see how that applied that. Now, instead of going through the color correction over here at the top, I'm going to go through the color tab part of me. I'm going to drag and drop vlog style on top of this. And when I do that, it applies it automatically, but it applies it as an adjustment layer. So if I turn this layer off, there's the original. I turn the layer on. There it is. I show you that because look at this. If I want to go ahead and go a step further, I can click on this video underneath it. And then I can go over here to color like I did last time. And then instead of turning the LUTs on and off, I'm going to go down here and make sure that color is selected. When color is selected, I can now go in and start adjusting the individual colors, the temperatures, the tints. Now, in this case, I know that I want to add a little bit more orange in it for this one here. And I want to take a little bit of the green and make it nice and vibrant right here. So you'll just see here that I am just adjusting these sliders. Now, I'm adjusting these as I see fit. Of course, you may want to do this completely differently, but this is just how I would color correct it. I would probably add in a little more vibrance. I want this to look like a really bright, shiny, happy day. And of course, that's what it is. And I might even add in a little bit more saturation to really overdo it. Something like that. So, I mean, this is a really bright, shiny, happy type day. So let's go with a bright, shiny, happy type color correction. You can turn the light on as well here. So I've got it set to general, like just set to basics. But if I want to maybe decrease the exposure a little bit because it's a little bit too bright, I can go ahead and reduce it. I can reduce the brightness a little bit and I'm just dialing in what I want. I want a higher contrast value, et cetera, et cetera. These are all things you can do and you can adjust them as you see fit. So I'm going to add some sharpness and there we go. I've gone ahead and added that to the original footage. So we've got, we've got the LUT. This is the lookup table that's applied directly on top of it. And then we've got the color correction and all of these things applied underneath it. If I turn them on and off, we've gone ahead and made those two sets of adjustments. If you want to go a little further and you really want to get it really perfect, you can go in here and use curves. So they have Y, R, G, and B. Y is basically Luma. So this is how bright your image is. So if we want to make maybe the, maybe we want to brighten it down a little bit in the shadows and we want to increase the brightness a little bit in the um, highlights, we can do something like that. If I want to adjust the actual colors in it, I can go ahead and maybe pull some of the blue down so that it gets a little greener. All of these things are things you can do directly inside Filmora 13. All right, and the last thing I want to mention here is while I showed you how to apply lookup tables or LUTs, as well as color correct the individual pieces of footage. If you look under filters here, you will notice that there are hundreds, and I literally mean hundreds of different pre-built styles and colors that you can go ahead and color applications that you can go ahead and try out. For example, if I just click on basic, all I have to do is click on one here and then it will go ahead and it will start applying that color. So primordial will look something like this. If I want the chartreuse style, Bang, there it goes. It's applied. You can go and look under featured. All of those great ones like Sand Dune, Nuclear Manhattan, Monster Futurism, if you're into Godzilla. <laughs> but they're all in here. Give them a try. There's so many different ones that you can try out. And then once you've got something that you like, go ahead and use some of the techniques I showed you to dial it in and get exactly what you want and make your footage look professional. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.